a lot of properties that are not renovated currently in the market in this soft market what i'm experiencing there are sitting longer longer i'm seeing across the board a lot of my investors are panicking some of them are have properties on the market way too long some of them are not buying at all this could be detrimental to you and it could really just mess up your whole year your roi may not be there significantly it may not even make sense this video is not about not taking steps and not taking initiative welcome back to the channel today's video we're going to discuss the current market and what we're seeing currently the market right now in my opinion it is completely soft what i mean by soft market is soft take a longer to sell things take a longer to get things in the contract take a longer to process it's just a lengthy process at the current moment now some of you may have different experiences if you're currently in the market but as what i'm talking to everyone in my space my peers they're all experiencing the same thing the market is currently soft i'm going to get into this video and i'm going to explain exactly what that means for those of you who are trying to invest for those of you currently investing so you have the proper cautions for those of you who are going to invest you have the proper knowledge to invest the right way so you don't make careless mistakes that you can avoid by watching videos like this all right so welcome back to the channel my name is gene grant i'm a local investor hard money lender and contractor in today's video we're going to break down exactly what i mean by the market is soft so there are a few indicators that we're going to discuss currently in this video that's going to tell you what i mean by the market being soft so one of the things i alluded to in the prior intro of this video was taking longer so length of time on market means that people are not moving as quickly or it's not enough people in the buyer pool to actually attract to your particular property you're trying to flip or you're trying to sell so if you look on days on market right now a lot of investors are experiencing anywhere between 60 90 to 120 days where previously in the market where there's a lot of buyers moving and shaking you're getting your property on the contract within two to three weeks maybe 30 days 60 days is about average once you start climbing into that 90 day 120 day and even some that's around 150 days you're a little bit almost closer to half the year in the market space so for those of you who are borrowing hard money you're paying interest longer you run on significant price decreases these are the things that take place when your property's in the market longer so you're dropping the price to try to get your buyer you're paying hard money at the same time and you still got to pay the fees that associate with selling your property like well let's say commissions and title fees so these are the things you want to watch out for if you're getting into actually the investment space or if you're currently active right now another thing that you really want to watch right now is you're competing you're competing with new construction and your flip property so new construction in florida and orlando right now they're doing a lot of incentives they're even giving people the interest rates all the way up to four and a half percent five percent so how can you as an investor or you as a person who wants to sell your property on the market compete with that right so if i'm a buyer i'm going to look at it from my vantage point how much does it come to my monthly payment that's what majority of buyers care about if you're in that sector that space where you're between 250,000 to 400,000, you're really focused on your mortgage payment. Not saying that people are in a higher price point, not really focus on it, but if they have a lot more disposable income, they're not too concerned, they can do that stretch. But for those buyers in that category, some of them can't afford to do the stretch. So you're really competing. So if a new construction is dropping the price on their interest, those who wanna list your property in the market, they're giving them incentives and they're getting a new product. So flippers, please be very cautious of that and make sure you have a product that can compete meaning if i'm gonna buy a new construction here that's three bedroom two bath maybe let's say 1200 square feet if my flip property is a 4 2 1700 square feet and we're close in price let's just say we're 20 or 30 thousand dollars difference that extra four bedroom in that space could make a significant jump and they'll probably forego that lower interest just to go with yours if you give them money to you know probably bow down a rate so These are the things you want to think about and you want to make sure your property is really 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 well designed well renovated a lot of properties that are not renovated currently in the market in this soft market what i'm experiencing they are sitting longer 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 and again a lot of low ball offers so for an investment standpoint if you're seeing properties on the market this is your opportunity to really buy properties at a discount rate so you maybe hold them as rentals one of the other things that i really want to talk about really in this soft market is people are invested like myself certain properties we just can't buy because the numbers don't make sense let me give you a scenario i go buy a property that i want to flip and i can't flip the property to make the profit that i want to make so i'm forced to put it as a rental so i still gotta pay off my hard money lender I still got to try to get my money back from the property. And the event that I can't pay my hard money lender or put my money out, I'm stuck because I can't rent the property because I won't be able to make all the money out. I therefore have to put more money into the deal to close it to be able to convert it to a rental, which at that point, depending on how much money you have in a deal, 
your ROI may not be there significantly. Unless your benefit is really tax incentive or you're really just trying to buy a property for the future because you're thinking about the appreciation, it may not even make sense. So for those of you who are really thinking about investing, in a soft market is when you're really cautious. You're cautious about every step you make. I'm not telling you not to invest, but I'm telling you very cautious on how you approach investing right now in this market. Now, at the time of this video, we're right in July 2024. So if you're watching this video later, this may not apply to you, but what I'm seeing right now for the past two or three months, I'm seeing across the board a lot of my investors are panicking some of them are have properties on the market way too long some of them are not buying at all so i always say the best deal is the ones you never bought and you never lost money on also the best deal could be the one that you bought at the right price and you made money on so those are my two philosophies when i'm buying so right now if it doesn't make sense i'm not buying a property if it makes sense i'm going to buy that's just the reality of it all right, so as you're watching this video, you're probably gonna say, hey, I don't wanna invest. I don't want you like not invest. This video is not about not taking steps and not taking initiative. This is mostly for caution and to be very, very careful about what you do right now in this space. So I'll give you a kind of, of a case study, right? So I have a few properties currently listed on the market right now. So I have some listed with myself. I have some listed with different agents. And currently I have one property that's been on the market now for 90 days and this house has fully been renovated. And the reason why it's soft because of the area. So sometimes a market can be softer in certain particular areas so your growth areas your up and coming areas you got to be very careful how you're investing in those areas currently right now at the time of this video and the reason why that market that house has been sitting is just because of the area that it's in it's not the best area in my opinion i knew that going in but it took me a little bit longer to renovate that property it typically it took me four months to renovate this property so i've been holding this property for over eight months and i've been on the market now for four months so almost four months so you gotta think about when he's been in this property for almost a year and a soft market is probably take a little bit longer so i just had to drop the price and gave it a ten thousand dollar incentive to actually close on this transaction so we have a lot of movement now this is why i'm telling you the market's off look what i just had to do to move one of my properties fortunately for me i have enough cushion but for those of you who don't have enough cushion this could be detrimental to you one and it could really just mess up your whole year so if you're just doing two or three flips and you took a thirty thousand dollar loss on one you know you keep that for taxes but that's just the reality i mean it may not be the best for you so i have another case study one of my other properties is in a somewhat better area is definitely a growth area because one street over is new development and it's flips that's been done so mine is exactly a street over so you definitely know in real estate location 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 that statement is always true it's never going to change that property we get some activity some hits it's just finding the right person that property's been a market for going 30 days now i expect it to be in a market for 90 days so in the 90 days my hard money interest payment that i make on that property is roughly around 1900 dollars a month so the long I'm gonna hold on to it you can see what happens so guys if you're watching videos like this it's really just to educate you so you get better understanding so this is not to scare you whatsoever i want to tell you that is this caution what you're doing in investing if you have investment questions in the florida market and you're looking for someone to help guide you through that whole process or if you're looking for hard money definitely reach out to me my links are in the bottom of the video my name is gene garan i am an investor i've done a whole bunch of deals i've funded tons of deals and i've done enough that i haven't really lost but i've taken some hits but i know enough now for you guys not to take hits so comment in this video let me know what you think if you have any questions let me know and i'll leave you with one thing in real estate it's about how you look at the deal and analyze it go into these deals with enough padding so you can take any blow that's it catch you guys in the next video market is soft